Hey Rob, whatever happened to that old siding over there? I've been eyeing it for 20 minutes now, and I'm kind of curious. That siding is where the infamous runaway boxcar incident happened. Runaway boxcar incident? Yes, it's where two boxcars became a runaway and collided with an oncoming train. How on earth did that happen? Well, I'll tell you. It all started in this very yard in 1994. Back then, the station wasn't here, and there was only really one siding, and two mainline tracks. Two boxcars were just sitting on a siding, when they started to roll a little bit. A local freight train came by with a few mixed cars, but at the end there was some boxcars. That's when it happened. The boxcars started moving way too fast. It must have been a rusty handbrake or something, but it rolled straight into the side of the other train. It was quite the mess, and I was immediately called to the scene. The derailed boxcars were put on some flatbeds, and Mark took them to be repaired. After the incident, they built this station, ripped up that old siding, and, well, added some more sidings back there. So, how did the boxcars become a runaway to begin with? Well, rumors say that someone didn't put the handbrakes on the boxcars, and once a gust of wind came, they started rolling immediately. Anyway, Aaron, I have to take this oil train to the refinery. See you later.